were boys had done it, they'd be really yeah. upset. I, mean, no, I would hard rather the greatest warrior of his age. Mash, <laughs> ten year old, gets him. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We're gonna have to smash one and then the other. Okay, Mashy. Call me, call me sissies. Bring them. Smash the group that are on your left. They're all surrendering. Looks to me like the team have got victory in their sights. And you know, legend says that Harold Hardrada had a portentous dream the eve before the battle. Mm. And that he saw a troll woman riding on a wolf going round, dead, Norse, his slain troops. And as she did so, she cackled a Norse song. But they were very big on omens, weren't they? They were. Um, Halley's Comet was seen in this very year. You knew that it was portending something. Of course, you didn't know what it was portending till after things happened. Yeah, they rewrite it after the they event. They rewrite it after the event. I like the troll woman, though. That's this very good. And there's an awful lot of dead Norse on the battlefield again today. But they've not quite given up, despite losing their king. Look, here's some more berserkers and a strike force of hard-hitting swordsmen. So there's a, there's a celebrity soldier on this field today. You know? Now, Leofric, the nephew of Lady Godiva, was part of Harold Godwinson's army at the Battle of Stamford Bridge. Come all the way from Coventry to participate in this battle. Team can certainly win it now. They preempted the enemy, and they never, for one moment, gave up the initiative. They killed the enemy king, Hardrati, and, and look, even as the battle is concluding, they are harrying the fleeing enemy as they try to get off the field. Victory imminent. Victory is imminent, but it's not. But even at this stage, though, they have to just hold focus. Things are looking good for you. Come on, let's get it. Let's get stuck oh in. Oh my God! Kill, kill, kill! kill. kill. Yeah, we don't let any of these guys get away with anything. Let's get on with it. You guys don't These are our troops. Let's can sort them out. No prisoners. No, we're still going to get this and lot. We're not going to let them break there. Yeah, guys, you keep killing us. Fantastic. We're not. That was fun. You did it. Yes. Not entirely sure how we king. did it, but you, I'm really pleased we did Mashie? it. Well, from what okay, I can see, there was speed, there was we devastating got, got commitment. We've still got a load of army left as well. <laughs> and can we... Hey, and brilliant, okay. brilliant work. Can we just say, brilliant. captains, fantastic work. Who'd have thought it? The Norse king brought down by Mash. <laughs> and <laughs> nearly all the berserkers, I have to say, personally dealt with. Your communication was just all there, and it came together. Generals, how do you feel? Very brilliant, happy. brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Can we do that again? No. <laughs> You've done it. Yeah, th there's this weird thing, because there was the berserkers there and then the infantry and my cavalry just smacked into the berserkers. They died. Mash, don't eat cheese just before you go to sleep, because you're going to wake up dreaming about berserkers, berserkers every yeah. night. Well, look, it's been fantastic, and congratulations. Let's find out what the experts make of mm. your efforts. Guys, you were great. Were absolutely, great? absolutely. Jane, in particular, imposed her will on the battlefield. <sighs> She's not uh, bossy. <laughs> That's what she said. It, she has it has its place. That's what you need, it has absolutely. Its place. This is what was required here. But I think that what we noticed especially is that you guys work together as a team. And Jane had found the place where she could control the battle from. And then Sam had found where he needed to be in order to coordinate for Jane so that the two generals worked together and didn't compete. And there was, there, there was no friction. Yeah, and then the two captains were allowed to get on with doing their job. Which was give good feedback. They were both instructing the operators and turning back and telling you what was going on and listening to what you want. So it was textbook. You played the time commander's game textbook. And what do you think in terms of the way they actually marshaled them, the moves they made? I was impressed. I mean, because just in that, you know, that they didn't have much time. And it was very, I liked the way they'd placed the archers before the cross, crossing the bridge to cover the retreat, just in case they didn't make it. That was good. And they started to make plans what they do once they got over. They did the right thing. Absolutely. And the vision that Jane briefed during the Council of War, the idea of knocking the Huskarls through, bashing your way through, and then spreading out to secure the bridgehead, was exactly what you did. It was beautiful. Why don't you show us what actually happened, guys? I'll be Norse. I'll, I'll, I'll be Norse. Norse. Excellent. Berserkers. I'll, I'll, I'll come with the clever people. Come on, mate. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> this is two thirds of the Norse army here under Harald Hardrade. Ten miles away at Rickle with the boats, 
is the remaining third of the Norse army. And they're commanded by Einstein Ori. And they've got Olaf the Flashy, the young prince of Norway. Olaf the what? <laughs> Olaf the Flashy. Olaf so cool because what he had a big cool. watch and because he was a bling bling kind of kid. Right, you bling Norse. And he's going to come the steaming one. up the road with the <laughs> clipboard, <laughs> Uncle Tom Cobbley, and all. So that although you can do all the right things, if you get delayed and if you get pulled into fighting that deliberate shield wall battle, then you're going to lose. So not only did your rapid action enable you to win the Battle of Stamford Bridge quickly, because you won the Battle of Stamford Bridge quickly, you can now go, and if you're really lucky, your army will win the Battle of Hastings as well. So a fabulous success and a famous victory for our family contestants. Well done. That was a really, really good performance. You have been watching Time Commanders. Good night. Stamford Bridge ended the Norse threat to England. The Norwegians had arrived in 300 ships, but their remnants left in only 24. And yet, Harold Godwinson's English army was sorely depleted. And just as the battle was ending, news had arrived that Duke William of Normandy had landed in Sussex. Godwinson must now make all haste south.